So once you know that you're running the baseband of um, it's, it end, the baseband ends in 0.71, you're safe to continue and install the ROM. So when I give you this page link, what you do is you go down to the bottom of the first post, download the the, the two big uh, titled files. So just click on this, download, click on this, and download. Do not unzip either ones. Copy both of these zip files to your SD card. So I've already done all that just to save time. And you go back into uh, X Recovery if the camera will focus. Uh, okay, there we go. And go down to Install Custom Zip. Select that. Um, choose Custom Zip from SD card. Go all the way down. And what you're going to do is select this one right here, CMZMod003. Do not select the hotfix because that has to be done in the next step. So when you select the um, CM7ZMod003 zip, press the home button. It's going to give you a warning prompt. Press yes, home button again. And now it's actually flashing the ROM. Um, this is going to take a while, so we will fast forward to when it's complete, and I'll show you the next step. Alright, so it just finished flashing the ROM, and it should pretty much say install from SD card complete. What we need to do now is reboot the phone, so keep pressing the back button until you get to the main menu, and once reboot phone is highlighted, press the home button, and it will reboot. Uh, we still need to flash the hotfix. But the first thing we want to see is if the ROM actually flashed properly. Um, otherwise, flashing the hotfix will be useless. And the initial startup could take quite a while, so just you know, bear with it. it could take some time, and um, let's see what happens. And there's a Cyanogen mod logo. So everything's looking good so far. Um, while we're waiting, I guess I'll just say this. Um, the first few times, or first few days rather, when you're using this, uh, my girlfriend and my friend have noticed that the phone acts kind of strange. Like the battery will just say it's dead. Um, I'm going to skip all this just now. The, the setup screen, because... Um, you don't have time for this right now. It, it'll act a bit laggy at first because it just flashed a new system, so um, be patient. As you can see, it's kind of lagging right now. Oops. So you, you will notice a speed increase. Right now, you just you saw that it's lagging. That's just because I restarted it like with a brand new system, right? So. The first uh, little while will be quite laggy. We know that Cyanogen mod is working now, so what we need to do is reboot the phone again. Uh, there's a reboot option there now, that's new. And press recovery, and OK. So I was saying, um, the first couple of days you might get like a, a random error where the battery will just die on you, uh, the phone might just freeze, but we noticed that after the first, uh, I don't know, two or three days, the phone tends to work great again, so um, I think I might. I actually, I think I made a mistake. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, sorry, my bad. So now we need to hot, flash the hotfix, and then you'll be set. Uh, so same thing. Use the volume keys to go to install custom zip, home button. Install custom zip, home button again. Go all the way down to the bottom, and select the hotfix right here, home button, the warning, press yes. This is going to be a bit faster. It sh again, it should say as install from SD card um, complete, otherwise something went wrong and just try it again, again. Or you might have to go back a previous step and do something again. Reboot the phone. And what that hotfix basically does is um, it, it fixes the Wi-Fi. There was a known Wi-Fi issue, but with this hotfix, it's been fixed completely. Now, what I promised is I'll show you how to back, like restore your apps with Titanium Backup. 
Um, my friend can't. I can't access his account right now because oh, you'll get a new boot logo. Uh, boot logo. So don't be afraid when you see this. It's quite funny. Um, but everything's good to go. I don't have his Google account information, so I'll just show you on mine how to restore with Titanium Backup. So make sure unknown settings is checked, development and uh, USB debugging is checked. This go down all the way to Titanium Backup. Uh, press the menu button. If it'll go away, there it goes. Press batch. I just have a lot of apps. That's why it's gonna take a while. Like, I mean, tons and tons of apps. Um, what you wanna do is restore the apps you had <clears throat> back before you flashed to Gingerbread. So now what you're gonna do is um, restore missing apps with data. Right now, mine says zero because, like I said, this is my Nexus One. But on your Sony phone, when you install Titanium Backup from the Android Market, you should have like X amount of apps that you uh, backed up. Furthermore, I believe you can move apps to the SD card with your new Cyanogen mod. In fact, if an app does not support um, apps to the SD card moving, I think with this you can force any app to the SD card. So previously, say with the uh, old Sony firmware, you could only use like say, um, I don't know, 50 apps roughly on your phone. You can now probably have like 150 to 200 apps easily. So that's another great feature. I, I haven't tested it myself, but you can play around with it. And if you're not sure how that works, just Google it. It's very simple. And um, I hope that helps. If you have any feedback, you can dislike the video. Um, Honestly, it doesn't really affect me. I just hope that this helps at least one person out there, and I'll be happy with that. If there's any feedback you have, because this is my first video, uh, please leave some positive feedback so that if I make another tutorial video, I don't, like, screw it up. And thank you very much for your time.